Okay. Uh, let's begin. All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Conversations with Traders, episode 11. So, guys, sorry, last week, uh, wala akong na-release na CWT. Kasi nagkasakit nga ako, doon nagka-food poisoning ako, show my. Di ko na sabihin saan galing. Pero, yun, medyo na malas. And today, I'm with um, a very special guest. I'm with Sir AJ Alipante. So, quick background lang, paano ko yung magkakila- nagkakilala ni AJ? Actually, uh, nag-usap lang kami sa Investa Chat. Ganun kami nagkakilala. Uh, may tiyanong lang siya, and then eventually, uh, nagkakwentuhan kami na share niya yung experience niya sa market. And all I can say is, um, malupit yung experience niya, and I'm sure marami kayo matututunan sa naranasan niya sa merkado. So, yun, ang tabayanan niyo yun. So, AJ, hi, thank you for the time to take the interview. Okay. Thanks, Paolo. Um, my name is AJ Alipante. Complete is uh, complete name ko is um, Arthur John Alipante. I'm based here in Mandawi City, Cebu, so medyo katabi namin ng hotspot. <laughs> uh, and ano um worth uh, worth I being here um okay naman kami dito um my fam- my myself and my family and I are okay then uh I'm, it feels great na ano na na I'm being interviewed with this and share my experiences with the rest of the uh investigations community yeah all right so let's get to it na so first question uh AJ is how and when uh, did you start investing in the stock market? Hmm. Um, indirectly, I in, um, invested in the stock market through mutual funds. Um, as soon as I started working uh, back 2008, immediately after graduation, um, I started working uh, as a software developer, uh, software developer as a uh, uh, Lexmark. Uh, <clears throat> Ang course ko kasi was uh, BS Computer Science, so uh, I uh, after graduation um, I got a job as a software engineer. If I'm not mistaken, if not 2008, 2009 ako nagstart um, setting in so, setting aside money for uh, mutual funds. Uh, every pay uh, every paycheck I'd have like a small box, as in talagang box na parang karto ng Nokia and 70 at that time. Uh, Doon ko nilalagay yung savings ko. I'd put one envelope on uh, on my personal leisure. I'd put another I'd put another envelope sa uh, for other things, yung night outs with Barkada or friends. And I'd also put in a small envelope for uh, setting aside for personal savings na yung ano for the rainy days or for investment. That's where I get the money for uh, for mutual funds and I started with if not 20 if not 2008 2009 nasa time frame na yan then i know for a fact na gusto ko pumasok ng stock uh, ng stock market uh, that's why i started with mutual funds kasi hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung uh, ang talaga yung play uh, with the stock market so i think a year or two has passed mga if i'm not mistaken year 2010 nagstart na ako bukas na ako ng uh, call account uh, with a minimum uh, investment amount na nire required niya. And actually, at that time, it wasn't even called financial. It was still called CIT, uh, CitySec Online. So, medyo, medyo may tenure na ako as, ano, um, as a trader. But, uh, yun yung, ano, yun yung pinaka, the very beginnings of my, ano, uh, of when I started uh, investing. So, that was, ano, no, parang, Kung 2008, may mutual fund na. So, almost, uh, tama, 12 years ago. Ilan taon ka nun? Studyante ka pa ba nun? Ay, hindi na. Uh, me, uh, graduate. Grad, grad, graduated na ako. Fresh grad, no? Kasi, Fresh kung 12 grad. years ago, medyo matagal na yun. <laughs> so, ano naman, AJ? So, you've been actually, yun, 12 years ka na sa market. More than, or yung nag-trade ka 2010, no? So, halos isang dekada na. Uh, share mo naman yung experience mo yung napag-usapan natin sa chat sa community. <laughs> mm, yung ano kasi, yung uh, I started trading uh, during that time, 20, um, 2010, uh, around that year. Uh, even at that time, I, start, um, uh, I started playing the stock market. I still wasn't really aware kung ano yung ginagawa ko. I mean, like, I'd put, a, uh, I'd put my money on a specific stock, um, a Boitis Power or a Boitis Equity or Meralco or something something similar at the time. 
pero hindi ko alam hindi ko siya alam kung ano yung basis ko for buying those stock uh, buying those stocks kung kailan ba talaga ano yung issues na na makakapagpakyat sa prices nito mga ano nito mga companies at during that during those times so i got in um uh, i wanted to get a taste of what it is in the stock market so yun yung ano yun yung uh in the very beginning of uh in yung pinaka ano yung parang pinaka first taste ko nung uh, market so um i was making trades na ano uh, na mali mali um quite frankly quite quite frankly saying uh mali mali yung trades ko why um i remember placing a bet uh on a boitis power uh and at that time my charts are right nung time na yun it was even trading at around 3 to 5 pesos and you know what the prices of that stock uh, already is parang if you try to get back to the chart from that time ba na nag-start ako and uh, trying to see uh, kung magkano na yung prices niya ngayon, you'd probably ask me, why did you lose <laughs> sa ganito na trade? Parang halos straight line na to. Kung i-demagnify ko yung, yung stock, para naman siya nakaganan na line. Eh. So it's like, um, I wasn't really, I don't necessarily know what I was doing. Um, I know that the company is good, pero I have, I didn't have enough basis for me to buy, uh, to buy the stock na umaakyat siya. Like there were times na pumasok ako na 2%, 3% up for a few days. Tapos nung pumasok ako, that's when it, uh, the stock was starting to correct. So parang sinasabi ko, malas pa ako. <laughs> na pumasok ako dun sa stock na, na, na ganun. Kung kailan ako pumapasok, dun bumababa yung market. So it was fairly disappointing. Uh, fast forward a bit, I decided um, something's wrong. So ang ginawa ko, I tried to file a leave sa work ko and uh, for about a week. Then nag-enroll ako dun sa, sa fundamental and technical analysis na, hin- na hinuhost ni, ano, ni Citizac Online. During that time, hinuhold lang talaga nila yung mga sessions nila in Manila. So, I'm for, um, by the way, um, I forgot to mention that I'm, uh, yeah, I think I did mention kanina that I'm from Cebu. So, I had to fly uh, for about a week uh, to Manila. Tapos yung uh, time kasi na yun, uh, they hold the technical sessions for two days and the fundamental uh, analysis for just one day. Uh, the, the people doing the seminars were April Lim Tan for the fundamentals and C. Uh, Sir Juan is Barredo by sa technicals and I think they're still the ones doing this uh, talks even until today. In other words, I met them in person and power talaga to mga tao na to. Um, people that I really look up to um, whenever I look at my screen here, I look at you. Um, uh, I look at you, uh, Paolo, for ano during your your weekly uh, charting sessions. I also look at JCs and Berios. Pero aside from that, tinitingnan ko, uh, pinapanood ko rin ko ano yung mga videos na ina-upload ni Miss April and also ni uh, Sir Juan is whenever I get uh, whenever I get to see the chance. So I went there. I went sa um, I went sa Manila for I went to Manila uh, so that I'd get the education that I need. Tapos, after noon, Oh, by the way, counting shout out na lang. Uh, thank you to my auntie, uh, to my auntie Linda, and also to my cousins Totoy and uh, Totoy and Tin for letting me stay sa bahay <laughs> during those times. So, yun. After um, at least at, uh, after the training, nagkaroon na ako ng basis. Na kaya pala mali yung trades ko because I was buying the stock. Uh, kung kailan na sa ano na sila? Kung kailan na exhaust na yung buying ano yung yung buying momentum niya. So, uh, at least that explains na kung bakit bumababa yan, no? bumababa yung price when I get in and that it's not, and it's not really a hypothetical situation na meron something wrong with myself being in the market tapos pag umalis ako, umaakyat siya. Yung parang sinasabi lang ng, parang sentiments ng other fellow traders natin ba na kung, kung kailan ako pumasok, uh, doon yata bumababa. Parang, 
um, I think everyone, um, a lot of people have the same feeling. And that's basically uh, because uh, mali lang siguro yung pasak and nagkakaroon lang talaga ng ganitong circumstances and dalawa lang naman kasi yan eh. it's either the market goes up or goes down. So it's always a 50-50 chance. Now, um, I remember, uh, I don't remember my trades na sa ano, during that time span na natapos ako dun sa training and I flew back to Cebu and uh, kung ano na yung mga pinasok ko ng mga trades. Pero what I remember was at least I was already up by 30% sa portfolio ko. Then, uh, then after na ano, uh, after some time na parang tinatrade ko, malilit lang naman yung mga in yung yung increments ko na ano ng uh, sa portfolio ka portfolio ko kasi I make mistakes on my trades pa rin. so it's either I cut my losses or try to um, to sell on strength pa basa he um it's three steps forward two steps back it happen it happens uh, it happens that way sa akin and sometimes mer balik tayo na ngayare pero generally at least at least I'm already making a profit at the time. Now, there was there was a point in time. Di ko lang maalala kung uh, kung anong month and year na pumasok si Traders Pizza. I'm not entirely sure kung nabuta mo ba si Traders Pizza or kahit sa anong kahit sa anong discussion siya ni JC. Uh, narinig ko lang siya. Siguro this is the third time narinig ko yung Traders Pizza. At di ko na talaga naabutan yun. Anong year to? Ano year na to? Mga 2010, 2010, 2010, 2010 no? 2011, 2012. Okay, okay. Wala. Hindi na nabutan yun. May forum kasi na, ano, may forum kasi na uh, similar to what we see in Facebook ngayon na me, ngayon meron traders, apprentice, uh, Pilipinas, there's even, um, we also have Investigrams community. Both the FB site and the uh, uh, the platform that we have right now. Then meron nga traders info exchange uh, Traders Info Exchange was actually organized, if I'm not mistaken, by by Sir Franco. I'm not sure if uh, that name ever crossed your ano, your hindi rin na. So uh, at the time, and I think ngayon, uh, and I think ngayon then, uh, I, I think that community is still thriving. But anyway, uh, during, uh, way back then, uh, around uh, during that uh, during that year, uh, merong uh, Maring forum na ano uh, called Traders Pizza and okay nagjoin ako my actually my handle name was Mac Fanatic uh, then nagpaparticipate ako dun sa ano nagpaparticipate ako dun sa mga postings I tried to understand ko ano ba yung uh, ano ba talaga yung nangyayari sa market uh, what stocks are being bought or ano yung mga analysis ng mga fellow traders uh, anong for uh, anong formation na ba ng graph graphs na nangyayari so i'm trying to educate myself uh during those times so uh ayun naka na i came across uh i came across a post and also an invitation to attend a, a seminar about momentum stock trading by Andre Colliado Ferdinand Colliado. Uh, definitely, the, uh, the the name would ring a bell uh, to a lot of our seasoned traders. Uh, magaling magaling si Sir ano? Magaling si Sir Andre with uh, momentum stock trading. And nagkaroon siya ng seminar dito sa Cebu. There was even a, um, a point in time na nung na meet ko siya personally and I and I attended this ano? I attended his seminars. Na um. Uh, I also had that in me na gusto kong uh, gusto kong lapitan yung person uh, behind this ano behind this uh, behind this um, yung parang gusto kong mapalapit uh, with the person who who's really great at ano who's really great with something. Also, in this case, um, I want to defend the person who is, ano, um, uh, who is great with momentum stock trading. Because 
nakikita naman sa ano nakikita naman sa sa mga evidences na pinapakita niya he, he traded this and that so iyon yung mga sinasabi uh, iyon yung mga sinasabi ni sir and they then tapos tinuruan niya tinuruan niya rin kami with uh, how to enter the market uh, doon ko rin nalaman na kung bakit nagkakaroon actually ng uh, kung paano kung paano ka makikipag-compete with um, buyers during sa pre-opening and paano ka rin makakalabas or paano ka rin makakabili uh, during the closing. So ayun yung parang tinuro niya kung paano yung uh, nangyayari doon. Tin, tin, uh, nagturo rin siya about uh, intraday replacements. Uh, I'm not even sure uh, I'm not sure kung nasa calculator natin yung ano yung uh, sa na, nasa calculator nasa platform natin yung calculator na ano pivot table so may tinuro rin siya sa amin na ganun so uh, uh, all in all parang nidagdag ko yung ano yung natutunan ko dun sa sa Manila with the call uh, with the CitySec na ano na training for both fundamental and technical analysis with that of momentum stock trading now Maganda yun, di ba? Kasi may natutunan ako na additional. Ang mahirap lang is, I didn't mix uh, the concepts quite well na nasunog na, na uh, dyan na nag-start nasunog yung ano ko, yung, yung gains ko and eventually uh, yung portfolio ko to as much as maybe 80 to 90% of the value. And I didn't, and I'm not talking about just the thirty-five thousand na na initially na nilagay ko sa ano sa 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 call account ko. Yung history pang nun is uh, medyo side lako ng context sa ano sa sa work experiences ko para at least med, medyo may may perspective tayo no, ano may perspective tayo nung uh, how much I uh, uh, how much I invested myself in stocks and at the same time. Uh, meron din naman ako meron akong full time work na ano na parang nakaka-consensya rin kasi nagte-trade ako while work <laughs> so parang ano yun parang ba, that's bad that's bad wag 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 akong tutularan wag niyo akong tularan sa aking nakaraan na ano nakara, nakaraan na self at that time uh, when i was working ano when I, when i was working as a software engineer Uh, I also had the chance to be a part-time professor sa alma mater ko UP, here in UP Cebu. Um, then, uh, hindi naman siya hindi naman siya full-time, so at least I was able to to balance uh, those works. Then at the same, then meron ring time na um, a friend of mine from the US um, uh, 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 nabigyan rin niya ako ng job as a Um, SE, um, um, with SEO search engine optimization for a team of uh, SEO specialists here in Cebu. So, parang uh, it's a form of outsourced work, and I was uh, I was doing this work uh, for them, and uh, at least nakakaroon ako ng extra income on top of what I am already doing sa ano sa primary sa bread and butter ko na job. Then uh, what else? Yeah, parang the setup was like that. So at least uh, I'm making more than I uh, I'm making more than what I am making sa ano sa sa prim primary job ko. So may the, uh, on top of that primary job, meron na akong extra income so that I can invest more into this um into what I do sa stock market. So naglalagay ako sa mutual funds, kino continue ko and at the same time uh medyo it's partly addicting that I'm also putting more money dun sa ano dun sa portfolio ko with uh, CitySec online. Uh, so, uh, medyo lumaki yung portfolio ko. Uh, medyo lumaki yung amount of uh, money that I invested sa ano sa sa call financial and I even uh, tried opening a second account with First Metro uh, kasi there was a time when I met Um, ah, eto, for sure, kilala mo to, uh, Pao. Uh, Gus Kosho. Oo, oh, familiar yung name. Familiar. I met him in person. So, uh, oh, pero anyway, parang 
um, definitely nakikita mo siya dyan sa, ano, dyan sa Manila kasi taga dyan naman siya. Pero at least for uh, uh, for people uh, outside of Metro Manila like me, um, it's a, ano, um, parang kahit ako na is, uh, definitely ako na starstruck ako sa mga ganyang klase meetup. So, okay, these are personalities that I look up to in this uh, in this field. So, it's definitely an honor for me to uh, meet these people. And knowing na hindi ko sila palagi nakikita, that makes it, uh, that's even the spice there. Now, going back sa, ano, going back dun sa, sa trades ko, lumalaki yung, ano, lumalaki na yung ilalagay ko uh, to such a point na, na yung, yung, yung magnitude niya, medyo na-hurt na ako, uh, medyo, na, medyo na-hurt na ako sa aking heart. <laughs> Whenever nagkakaroon ng fluctuations that is, already in the five uh, in the five digits medyo bearable pa minsan yung four digits in the thousands pero in the ten, uh, tens of thousands medyo ano yun, medyo masakit-sakit na yun eh so lumalaki siya and uh, i was getting invested with ano with uh, basura stocks uh, <clears throat> this is not to negate uh, this is not to give ano uh, yung parang uh, to label these stocks uh, with uh, with a wrongful, I know, with a wrongful, uh, with a wrongful image. But uh, this is experiences ko in, in the past. I was making money and also losing money, um, depending on trades with Nihao, uh, LIHC. I was even uh, I even tried with uh, I even tried uh, Manila Mining A, Manila Mining B. Uh, what else? Uh, basa, uh, yun, yun kasi ano? Yun, yun kasi yung uh, those were the stocks that were um, uh, that were always discussed dun sa Traders Pizza. So parang uh, sinasakyan ko na rin lang yung wave. Kasi kung uh, if I were to make money with ano by riding the waves, uh, I would also need to have the courage na kailangan sumakay rin dun ako sa ano sa pinag-usapan ng mga tao. And at that time, uh, it was those stocks that are being talked about. Uh, then uh, I was making money and I was also losing money. Hindi ko na alam ko ano yung magnitude at one point, but hin um, uh, hindi ko na rin malaman ko ano yung ano ano yung portfolio standing ko at the time. Then here comes Kalata. 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 <laughs> Ito yung part so, na kwento na di ako di ko na expecto. So ano nang yare? Ano nang yare don? Yung sa Kalata kasi... So what, um, what year was this? Mga 2012, 2013 ba ito? Um, Kalata, Kalata IPO happened, I think, ano, uh, May 23, 2012. Okay. So, yung, ano, yung price action kasi ni Kalata for the first seven days was like 20% every... Um, uh, plus minus 20% every day. Si, mas malakas pa actually si Mary Mart because oh. ceiling talaga siya. Pero with ano with uh, with Kalata, uh, it I think it was uh, if I'm not mistaken it was seven days straight uh, na nagtetrade siya with um, uh, closing the day at around plus minus twenty percent every day on. Tapos uh, yung mga tao um, yung mga tao dun sa ano yung mga tao dun sa 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 communities na pinafollow ko not just traders pizza ha? Uh, at the time hindi uh, at least i was able to expand na kung sino yung mga yung mga uh, kung ano yung mga groups na ano na parang pinakikinggan ko lang so uh, hot top, hot topic it was also as, as hot as ano as uh, Mary Mart nung time na yon and umakyat yung price 20% every day for the uh, for seven consecutive days Eduwag ako for the first few days, realizing na uh, when I had the courage na to get in, that was already the time na dapat hindi na pala ako pumasok. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the traders or uh, our seasoned traders siguro who, uh, who successfully or unsuc unsuccessfully paid dead kalata during those times uh, would know na nag talaga yung ano, yung 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 stock and I think if I'm not even mistaken I even tried making a cut loss and trying to 
uh, catch back. a falling knife. Oh, AJ, uh, before you continue, baka pwede mo i-share yung screen, yung chart ni Kalata para ma- makita Ay. ano no audience. Natin. An- oh, kung ano yung itsura ng chart dati. Ako naalala ko, nakita ko once kasi na-trade siya. Naalala ko back when I was starting out. Na-trade, I was reading yung blog ni ni JC, di ba, imbang klase. Tapos yun, na-trade niya si, si Kalata. Ang problem lang kay, I also tried, ah, oh, okay, nice. Um, itong ko kung saan ko tinignan yung, ano, saan ko tinignan yung uh, chart na parang wala na yung, ano, wala na yung Kalata before. Ah, mabuti nandito si Investa. Nice, nice. Let's see, let's see. Hey. So parang ako uh, parang ako dati uh, with Mary, um it's like a situation dun sa Ayun. Yun. Okay. Oh, grabe pala yun, no? Ayun na. So kwento mo, what happened during saan ka pumasok, saan ka napabenta, saan ka nagte-try mag bottom pick ganyan. Okay. So if I remember it right, nandito na ako banda. Kasi okay. I was I was like I was like hesitant kasi na um, the price action is ano, talagang parang pagka nakakita ko ng 20% up, medyo malaki na hesitations ko coming in. But that hesitation lasted for a few um a few times kasi I mean like I hesitated but um I hesitated on day one I hesitated on day two magkakaroon ako ng doubts hesitation ko on day three lumalakas yung aking hesitation with my doubts on day four until such time na na-convince na ako na ah uh, kung kung mahina ang itlog ko kung eh dapat hindi na ako magpaiwan but I made uh, mali yung pasok ko and Yan, doon ako nasunog. And I tried cutting somewhere na dito, dito banda. Then, nagkaroon pa ng, ano, nagkaroon pa ng, uh, uh, hindi ko maalala kung saan ako nag-try mag-catch ng falling knife. I'm not in, even sure kung dito, ito ba yung falling knife na, na that I was referring to, but uh, it could be this or it could be this. Pero basta dito pa rin sa, ano na yun, sa time na yan. Tapos nung nagkaroon na ako ng, ano, nagkaroon na ako ng, uh, ng ng mindset na I already wanted to push back uh, push my ano yung my, I wanted to push myself back sa ano sa sa computer and parang sinasabi ko na lang na babalik na lang siguro yung price nan in the future yung parang naging investor mode na lang uh, parang umabot ako dun sa point na yon and uh, I remember selling it somewhere na somewhere dito na. Yung parang ibig sa parang ginag ang inisip ko na lang is uh, I'll just do my trades. Um, I'll just do uh, let this serve as a lesson na uh, na kung lalaruin ko man yung ano yung moment yung 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 momentum trading. I need to be equipped with the right ano uh, with, with the right decisions na. Like, Kung papasok ako, talagang kailangan in the first place, alam ko kung ano yung mangyayari in the ano, mga, yung mga mangyayari in, during that day. Uh, kung ihuhold ko man yan, huwag na lang sana, parang ganun ba? And, um, and kung, uh, kung ayaw ko man pasukin uli yung, moment, yung, in, yung, yung itchuchupit ko yung stock within the day or kahit ano, um, i-spot ko lang yung momentum, Eh, at least hindi ko siya uh, tawag dito. Um, I would already stay away from that uh, practice kasi yun nga, hindi ko, uh, I don't necessarily know what I'm, uh, I don't necessarily know uh, what I'm doing sa ganong mga situations. Not to mention, parang nag-all in pa yata ako. Sa kalata. Nag, nung, sa kalata. <laughs> Doon sa, sa medyo tuktok, nag-all in ka. Oh. Uh, so um can I ask an bakit ka na is this your first time na mag all in sa isang stock? No. I I almost always do it all the time. <laughs> mm, so dati, fundamentally, okay. oh, even uh dati and sometimes even ngayon, medyo na ano ko, medyo na tempt ako, pero at least meron na akong parameters. Uh, siguro sabihin ko na lang kung ano yung parameters ko, but nonetheless, a very important lesson is not to put 
everything in a, in one stack most especially kung kung napaka uh, napaka uh, risky nung ano nung stack correct hmm. so so yung nang ininyay sa kalata uh, na pabili ka sa tuktok tas yun na uh, medyo big loss ito ba yung dito ka medyo na dito ka na wipe out sa isang stack kay kalata yeah. or Mm. Um, basically, well, well, not necessarily the entirety of the portfolio, um, uh, not the entire 80 to 90 percent, but it was a big loss. Na parang it was a big loss. Na parang nakaka parang nakakawalang ano na nakakawalang gana na uh, uh, to practice this uh, to to practice everything or to even believe kung uh, kung ano pa ba yung Y- yung mga points na tinuro, na tinuro both sa ano both sa uh, fundamental and technical analysis and momentum stock trading kasi, kasi so far uh, yung tatlo lang yun na ang ano ang schools of thought na na subscribe ko and yung parang inabsorb ko sinubukan ko gamitin pero not necessarily na parang dinagdagan ko pa yung mga resources ko i mean like i um uh, i don't even remember trying ano uh looking for resources such as uh youtube videos na nagde-demonstrate ano ba itsura ng mga ano 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 ba itsura nung uh kung magcha-charting ako ano yung mga patterns na uh na na perform ano yung mga uh, yung yung head and shoulders double bottom uh uh ascending descending triangles these were thoughts ano these were thoughts sa uh, uh, by Sir Juan Luis Baredo uh, during the technical analysis seminar. But um, yung indicators, may, may sinabi lang about MAC, may tinuro siya about MACD and RSI, pero yung deeper sense kasi nun, kung ano ba talaga yung minds, what this graphs translate or what these numbers translate sa behavior ng market. Ano ba talaga yung story behind the psychology of the traders? Bakit um, bakit uh, bakit nagpa-follow na ganitong pattern or sabi natin uh, pattern regardless ano ba talaga nangyayari sa market ano ba talaga nasa isip ng mga tao so uh, parang fixated lang ako with the thought na okay if it if it is forming a ano it is if it's forming a certain pattern pagising ko bukas masaya na ako pero bakit ganun bakit hindi ako masaya it's because hindi nangyari yung ano hindi nangyari yung inaanticipate ko so um coupling it with yung uh, yung yung experience ko with ano with uh, uh with the stock talaga nakakapangina talaga ng loob uh, and to the point na uh, ayoko na parang uh, gusto ko na i-stop kung meron man ako makuha na ano meron man ako nakuha na cash ipang ano ko na lang siguro ipang sisini or pare <laughs> parang uh, pambibili ko na lang to ng something else or parang ganun but uh Hindi, uh, at that point hindi pa hindi pa ako hindi pa ako na give up pero if i were to graph my emotions nasa all time low na siya mm-hmm. uh, i um my last ano my last stock uh, i don't even remember ha kung uh, quick question lang siguro uh, what happens to a stock if they get delisted sa PSE what happens to funds uh, or to stock positions that are uh, that are uh, uh, that na meron positions yung mga ano yung mga traders ah uh, wala ano na, na, na ip, thank kung you. delisted oh wala ipit na dun di ba hmm. I don't even remember if I was still holding kalat at that time so possible nga na uh, naalala lang, ang nakita ko lang kasi sa portfolio ko was I still have Bloom, Bloomberry Resorts. And uh, nagko-comprise na lang siya dun sa 10% of my portfolio. And that already combining yung sa uh, Call Financial and the First Metro. So, okay. ano talaga siya? Talagang uh, um, yun yung yun yung ano, yun yung uh, yun yung nangyari. Uh, I don't, hindi, hindi na aware because I already lost interest uh, opening my account. Tapos, uh, I don't remember kung nandun pa yung kalata pa at that time, pero kung uh, if talagang, if 
a stock gets delisted, tapos nagiging zero, um, talagang magiging zero na lang talaga, talaga siya. So, that could even be a risk na, na hindi ko lang na halata, na nawala na pala yung kalata shares ko. Kasi nung binuksan ko nung uh, yung account ko uh, for this year, I only saw Bloom. And I remember putting myself in that, ano, in that stock at around 12 pesos somewhere that, uh, 12 or 14. Uh, in the past, bago ko talagang bago ko talagang medyo nakalimutan ko na yung trading. So, uh, parang ano na, parang naging blurry, parang ano, parang parang binasted na ano, yung parang binasted ka ng, ng crush mo na talagang gustong gusto mo ibigay yung the all of you ba, tapos binasted ka, tapos yung feeling na parang nakakapandilim, kunyari, ng, kunyari lang ha, <laughs> nakakadilim, ng, nakakadilim ng paningin, hindi ka naman nag, hindi naman nag, hindi naman nagiging suicidal. Pero the thing is, uh, parang ano, parang, uh, parang, you, you just want, you, you just want that thing to be a thing of the past. Yung parang gusto mo lang ikalim, ikalimutan, oh. try to start a new. Hmm. So, I was at that, uh, I came to the point na ganun talaga yung naramdaman ko. Pero, yung mindset ko was I wanted to avoid pero I know that I want to get back kasi alam ko may mali ako See, in other words parang I know it was a mistake on my end definitely it's not the market's mistake kasi hindi niya sinunod yung charts ko <laughs> it doesn't it never never that it worked that way so um, I know uh, I know mali yung trades ko and okay, I lost money. Um, um, I just thought before na lang na uh, I might be able to get them back or siguro um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily worry of getting them back uh, so, uh, so badly na yung talagang yun yung nakafixate sa mind ko. But ang ano ko lang talaga is I was wrong. Yung, yung pinaka-important na part dun sa, ano, sa, sa day or dun sa, dun sa time na yun na na I decided to uh, to uh, to push back for a while for seven years. <laughs> hmm. uh, pero um, I understood that I um, there was something wrong with my trades, and that part na yun kasi na sinabi ko na yung yung malik ko was uh, on my end na meron akong conviction na babalik ako. Pero let me. Uh, let me try to understand the world first. How, let me understand how the world works, or how how, how uh, the minds of people work, or how um, how to read people's minds or mindsets by looking at the charts. Or basa, um, meron something, meron something, ano, meron something uh, na kailangan change sa side ko. That's why no ano nung, uh, when you were doing that, I forgot what. Uh, vlog what well, it was yung sinabi mo na if nagkakaroon talaga ng a lot of your trades or almost all your trades na supposed to be tama naman pero are giving you net losses what you uh, what you need to do is push back tapos muna. Uh -huh. tainga muna um, a quote from Juan is i i i ano i uh, i paraphrase ko na lang was that wait tingnan ko muna coding screen Okay, so it's like when your stops are hit or something is wrong with your uh, with the price action or basta, um, basta if if there's something wrong with your trades, you sell and you think. Yun yung sinabi niya sa ano? Yun yung sinabi niya uh, when I attended that call seminar uh, way back 2010 or 2011 and nakatatak talaga sa nakatatak talaga siya sa isip ko. Uh, too bad lang hindi ko ginamit agad. <laughs> I know that he said it, and even until now, uh, that's definitely uh, one of the. If I were to, know, if I were to put a lot of uh, learnings in one list, she nasa top sa list na definitely ni -re remember ko. If something's wrong with my trades, you sell first, then you think. Kasi pwede ka nang bumalik sa 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 market if ano if uh, okay naman. Pero if it's uh, if your portfolio gets wiped out. Then it's game over if wala if walang other means of ano 
if mm-hmm. walang other means of getting back your uh, capital. Mm-hmm. So, grabe yung, yung pala yung experience mo dati. Di mo na kwento sa akin kung anong stock yun eh. Yung saan ka, ano, na wipe. So, tama ba, Andres, nandiyan ko. So, na-trade mo si Kalata, tapos yun, uh, medyo na, na, naipit ka. Then, you made a few trades after that. Pero, tapos, after na realize mo na may mali, eh, parang ayaw mo na muna mag-trade. So, nagpahinga ka, right? Sa mo for mm-hmm. seven years. I believe it's seven years. Could be more, could be less. Pero at least, um, the point is, it took years of consolidating on my end to, ano, to, um, to understand kung ano ba talaga, ano, ano ba talaga yung right mindset ko. So, during my, ano, during my, uh, during the years of my finding myself in the, ano, um, finding myself in, uh, sa sa stock trading hindi yung ano hindi stock trading inatupag ko literally uh, I went on with my life I mean like um, uh, during 2013 uh, it was also during that time siguro uh, na na nagstapa ko ng uh, ng stock trading um, nakaran ako ng different interests around 2012 may um, I even get in uh, I even got myself into ano uh, selling life insurance policies. Kasi on my end um uh, on yung sa life ko as a uh, as a person, meron na mga things that I wanted to change uh in terms of personality, in terms of how I look at things and how in terms of how I uh, interact with people. Uh, may mga may mga ano, may mga qualities ako na gusto ko sana ma-change. So I decided na uh, I, wa- I, I want to know how to interact with people, so I got into sales. And I got into sales with um, with selling life insurance uh, policies at the time. There uh, was time na uh, I wanted to attend mga personality development seminars para mga ganon. Uh, I even wanted to try to go into acting. Uh, yung hindi ko lang siguro dinner is yung scene kasi alam ko na. Uh, pagka komenta ko definitely uh, definitely uulan <laughs> so um uh pan aside basta uh, i was uh, i was doing so, uh, i was figuratively and literally doing some soul searching na kung paano yung parang i was trying to find myself in a way na okay i got into i got into different brackets if you may if you may term it i also um, I also founded our um, yung yung business ko uh, with um, with a few people. Uh, the name of the company at that time was Spring Events and uh, Productions Group Incorporated. Uh, we handled a um, a a city level pageant dito sa ano dito sa place namin. So um, para naging signal na rin yun for me to um, to get out of my comfort zone uh, and uh, resign from my ano from my current work. So parang nagkaroon talaga ng shifts sa sa life sa sa career ko sa life ko. Um, in as much as trading was um, was a uh, was there and I got out. Uh, nagkaroon din ng time na, um, that I also got out from my work because I had to um, I had to take a leap of faith. And from the looks of it, uh, at that time, I would even say that that it was a stupid move, because I had the work uh, who uh, who pays me uh, who pays me okay. Um, uh, I get to set aside money for different things that I need and want. Tapos papasok ako into something na ano na 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 uh, I got into business na wala wala rin ako mentor. Um, parang nagpati, uh, talagang uh, patibayan lang talaga ng loob so I, I got out of ano, I got out of uh, I got out of my uh, work at that time uh, to pursue that venture tapos after dun sa event na yun after conducting that event zero yung sales namin uh, wala na, hindi na nasundan yung event na yun pero fortunately um during that time, I was also able to get a work, uh, work uh, home-based na work, 
uh, then sa gabi ako nagano sa gabi ako nagre-report kasi US time siya na ano na uh, US time yung work ko na yon so at the time parang nasasabi ko na in as much as ano in as much as I made a bold move to get out of my comfort zone and uh, and take a leap of faith uh, happy na rin ako sa situation na nagkaroon ng uh, na after dun sa event na after dun sa project na yung uh, tinake care namin uh, nagkaroon naman ng opportunity for me to uh, to start a new kahit na yung business kahit na yung business ko uh, at least nagka- meron ako bread and butter na ano na na yun talaga yung ano uh, yun talaga yung pinagagalingan ko paying my bills uh, uh, putting food on the table parang ganun so uh, that went on and from 2013 until last year of October, and at the same time, yung uh, yung business venture ko uh, after a few years na talagang zero yung sales namin. Uh, in as much as parang isasara ko na yung company para hin- uh, hindi naman siya nagkakaroon ng malaking expense because yung headquarters is just dito lang sa ano dito lang sa uh, yung registered address is dito sa bahay wala namang kami binabayaran na tao it was it's practically parang ano lang parang uh, kumbaga para siyang uh, subscription lang to a to an entertainment service kunyari or like a Netflix or cable subscription na medyo malaki-laki lang yung premium uh, for an entire year because i need to pay the taxes for uh, for the permits pero at least the business entity is there but i do not know where uh, what my what my next big thing or what my next thing will be nandiyan lang siya uh, nagbabayad lang ako ng 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 taxes or yung yung supposed to be mga permits pero nandiyan lang siya then there's there came a time na we changed our line line of business from uh, from an events company into uh into fulfilling uh procurements of uh, yung mga purchases of ano purchases of uh, of institutional clients so from that time on ah nakakita ko ng break for this company so at least hindi ko na siya kailangan isara meron naman ako ngayong bagong pinagkakaabalahan that uh, yung 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 company namin is an as in, is an important part kasi of ano uh, of my life kasi Diyan ko kasi nakita yung ano, diyan ko kasi nakita uh, uh, along with other experiences pero malaki kasi yung part ng, uh, malaki kasi yung role niya uh, for me to look at life, uh, both life and customers and people and money uh, in a different way. There's, there's a certain level of discipline or there's a certain uh, kind of discipline I learned from uh, uh, from our current business na inapply ko with my trades right now uh, and that is being your being your own boss uh, means that no one no okay being your own boss means that no one is telling you that you're wrong you just suffer the consequences like financial uh, financial losses and siguro um, to another extent mitigation jail time or even death parang pang sobra yun na <laughs> but the thing is um uh, well luckily hindi ko naman ano hindi hindi ko pa naman na, na realize yung mga ano yung mga sinabi ko na uh, in a big uh, in a graver sense but the thing is uh, wala kasi nagsasabi if i am uh, if what i am doing is right or wrong uh, i get input from my parents i get input from uh, from uh, people that I rely upon sa, ano, sa, sa wisdom nila. Pero eventually, you, my call, uh, yung call ko, yung decision ko to get into a deal or not, uh, rests in my hands. Or also rests in my, uh, in my other uh, co-part, uh, in my partner's hands. So parang, in other words, it's a collective decision. Pero nonetheless, pagka pumasok kami into a deal, uh, if we if we make uh, money out of it then uh, then it's good if we don't then uh, we need to manage our risks so yung discipline kasi na yon uh, was very was very important for me so that at least mina manage ko yung mina manage ko yung risks in a way na 
pagka sinabi ni uh, pagka sinabi sa investigants or pagka sinabi sa sa informedtrades.com yung mga resources na tiningnan ko sa ano ba na yung parang nagbalik loba nagbalik aral ako sa ano sa 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 market uh, ay talagang ginawa ko na yung ginawa ko na talaga yung due diligence ko so whenever these people are saying whenever Paulo is saying whenever JC is saying na you cut your losses at this tapos unahin mo na yung sell bago magthink as per Juan is Barredo talagang kailangan internalize to na no second thoughts as much as possible kung magkakaroon man ng second thoughts mag second thoughts ako dun sa aking pag sa second thoughts in other words i need to uh, i need to follow a certain plan that type plot uh prior sa ano prior sa trading day so yung discipline uh yung that certain level of discipline was so ano uh, was so important na everything that i learned from uh, from from my business uh interacting with people being thankful for for the ano for the uh, for the for the sales for the businesses na na, na do, do with ko sa mga ano sa mga customers ko and I'm very thankful for ano for their sa, sa lahat ng mga ano nila sa lahat ng mga transactions nila kailangan ano uh, yung yung discipline in yung the supporting that discipline na ano na talagang the yun yung pinaka driver ko for this ano for uh for trying for yung parang ayun yung pinaka requirement ko before getting back into the uh, into the stocks tapos incidental na lang yung ano incidental na lang yung uh yung how the market thinks for example uh we have a lot of chart patterns naman diba schools of thought for technical analysis we have a lot of ano we have a lot of patterns that we can pattern uh, certain uh, certain charts so pagka sinasabi niya it's an inverse head and shoulders then so be it but the thing is um ang ibig sabihin pala noon is the this patterns this graph patterns are formed is because um, it tries to demonstrate what the people are, ano, what the people are thinking, and to some extent, kahit hindi ganon yung talaga inisip ng madlang people, they are, uh, they are parang naaakustom na lang sila na ganon yung isipin is because um, may uh, meron talagang structure yung ano, meron talagang structure ang on stock trading it's not a buy it's not just plainly buy and sell it's not buy low sell high for uh for without any certain basis or without any level of basis at all there's always a reason for ano uh, for people uh buying uh fundamental analysis is saying na um a certain company for example gpcap is analyzed by ano by uh, by uh, by call financial as a stock that is cheap at this uh, at this point in time tapos sinasabi niya na na fair value niya is nas uh, malayo-layo pa so it's a uh, malaki magaling value niya if i get in now pero bakit nag bakit ang bakit lagard yung ano bakit lagard si GT Cap uh, for uh, for ano for, for the past days for the past weeks tapos nagkaroon lang ng spike nung June eh doon lang talaga siya umakyat ng uh, na malakihan pero the thing is uh, the um, fundamental analysis is there pero kung hindi rin naman talaga nagkaka-interest yung mga tao to buy it um, to buy it at whatever price uh, the market is selling it on eh talagang hindi naman talaga gagalaw ang stock so parang uh, yun din yun, uh, nalala ko sinabi rin ni JC yun uh, either to a uh, either in dun sa summit or sa ano natin sa 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 isa sa mga vlogs uh, and yung yung mga ganun na realization uh, medyo na realize ko rin kasi yun dun sa ano sa 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 business so yun talaga yung ano I, somehow nagkaroon ako ng realization now for other for other persons na ano na na nagkakaroon din siguro na ano na some sort of nirvana uh it could be a different a different avenues it could be na uh, sa ibang 
sa ibang things nila makukuha yung state of mind na yun na ah okay the the market behaves like this because people want to buy into the stock people um there's also a reason bakit si si Semex is not breaking the uh, the 110 or the 120 resistance na ano hindi pa siya umakyat to its ano to to its IPO price in para mga ganun so uh basically uh basically the things that i learned not just din sa not just sa uh, sa sa career ko right now everything na nangyari from that past 7 years parang collective na lang talaga siya na 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 pumasok sa akin until covid came into play so uh, bawal lumabas tapos ayaw ko rin naman talaga lumabas kasi um uh, nakakatakot sa labas uh, given the situations and uh, kung wala magawa sa uh, in as much as we're um, continuing the things that I'm doing dito lang sa bahay eh, nagkakaroon rin ako ng avenues for me to look into other things so uh, pinag-aralan ko uli yung charts, uh, pinag-aralan ko uli kung ano yung, uh, yung mga lessons na supposed to be in, an, in internalized ko before and uh, from that time on around May or so May of this year uh, I was back on my feet. I placed um, uh, I placed um, a fresh ano, uh, a fresh uh, fund sa ano ko sa call account ko. Tapos yung tan yung yung shares ko na nasa ano nandun sa sa first match o kinonsolidate ko lang siya sa isa para at least isang ano isang page lang ang tinitingnan ko and uh, I continued with with my trains. Uh, oh. <clears throat> hindi pa naman ako out of the woods. So uh, uh, I'm not saying that at this point in time I'm making uh, I'm making huge profits or I'm making ano, but it's it's one step back for me to uh, it's it's one step at the time forward. for me uh -huh. oh one step uh, yeah, so, at the time forward. So AJ, no save so I don't know to pa summarize so na noona wala ka pumsa do alam na tuto akin na one is kina April kina April itan tas may natend ka momentum ano seminar tapos yun you make a few good trades until kalata happen then napahinga ka seven mm -hmm. years right and then during the seven years you started the business right tapos you're also learning more about life during that seven year um time span na napahinga ka muna from the market during yung buong seven years ba niyon parang kinalimuta mo na or inisip mo talaga na babalik ako dito parang I will trade again but I just need to do it at my own time do it at my own pace do it when I'm ready ganun ba yung mindset mo nung hayatos mo na seven years yes uh, that's correct um, nung when I decided to stop mindset ko talaga is babalik ako but in due time so yung due time na yun uh, happened to be happened to be this ano during this COVID season uh, naging catalyst yung COVID because I know that the market will drop uh, given the situation and parang uh, siguro kung, naka, kung nasa market ako at that time uh, and narinig ko yung news na yan tapos I had, uh, I had the right information and I had the right mindset then I probably would have uh, played the stock in, uh, in my favor dun sa, ano, sa dip na yan. Well, hin, say, uh, parang uh, parang medyo unfortunate lang yung nangyari kay ano uh, sa previous owner of the company but the thing is uh, yung price action niya uh, baka na leverage baka na leverage ko during that time pero i wasn't uh, i wasn't trading at that time mm -hmm. wala pa yung so, ano wala pa yung mindset oh so yung biggest catalyst kung bakit ka after 7 years bumalik sa market was uh, yung covid na crash yung market you saw it as an opportunity to come back in the market Yes. Uh, definitely yung uh medyo natatakot din kasi ako minsan if I were to go if I were to go back into trading stocks. Medyo natatakot ako with uptrends because na merong possibility uh that the that the trend will reverse. Sometimes we don't know kung kailan natatapos yung trend, di ba? So minsan uh natutunan ko rin siguro dun sa no dun sa racket uh, is iba kong mga ginagawa. Gusto ko makakuha ng mga uh, ng mga items at a discount. And in the world of stocks, 
the discount happens when there's a shakeout as big as this. And this is a black swan na shakeout na nangyayari. So, uh, nagkaroon, uh, nagkaroon ako ng uh, nagkaroon ng event, nagkaroon ng catalyst, tapos at the same time, nagkaroon ako ng oras na panoorin yung mga video sa YouTube na, okay, uh, medyo tamad ako magbasa, uh, un quite honestly, pero ang ginagawa ko na lang is uh, uh, I watch YouTube videos instead. So, pinanood ko yung series ni, I forgot uh, kung sino yung, ano, yung, kung sino yung gumawa ng videos na yan. Would you believe, uh, nung pumasok ako uli sa market, yung nagturo sa akin ng stocks sa YouTube videos um, is coming from a recording way back in 2008. So parang mat- sakto nung kailangan ka pumasok sa market, di ba? 2008. So, <laughs> parang ganun na rin. So parang ironic ba? Sa inyo, hindi ko nakita yung video na yun. Ha? So um, it was coming from informtrades.com. Uh, medyo, uh, y- yung production value niya is medyo uh, medyo uminom ka na lang ng kape para at least masustain mo yung yung 20 or 30 videos na nasa nasa playlist niya. Pero the thing is, uh, since nagkaroon ako ng time uh, and uh, the catalyst was here by chance, uh, nileverage ko na lang sa so pinag-aralan ko ulit. Uh, ano ba yung mga na-miss out ko? Tapos, Pinas, uh, pinanood ko na rin yung mga videos no ano uh, sa sa call uh, I mean like I asked I even asked customer service kung meron ba silang ano meron ba silang mga uh, training materials na na pre-recorded or kung meron ba silang upcoming na na mga webinars na sila Miss April or si Sir Juanis ang ano ang ang magdadalo mga magdadalo ng mga talks so I, I even reached them na I uh, even asked them na kung meron ba silang mga gantong seminars. So, sabi daw wala, pero meron recording si si Javi. Mm-hmm. So, nadagdagan yung nadagdagan yung mga people na ano, y- yung mga people na may references ako. So, at this point, uh, before ano, before uh, nung nung nagte-trade ako during the 2010s, nung time na yon, uh, three persons yung parang tinitingnan, ay yung parang nasa nasa top of my head so si Miss April si Sir Juanes si Sir Andre and kung pwede pa natin include si Sir Gus pero hindi masyado kasi si Sir Gus during that time eh. uh, nakita ko lang siya personally but I never um, um, hindi ko nakita yung mga analysis niya tapos ngayon nadagdagan na si ano si si Sir Javi si Sir JC and si Sir Paulo Oh, salamat, salamat. <laughs> Oo. And also si, so, ano, si Sir Berio. Si Not Berio. Mm-hmm. So, nung bumalik ka sa market ngayon, so ngayon, nag-trade ka na, so bumalik ka nung May, so you're trading na ngayon for about maybe two months. So, anong improvements yung ginawa mo uh, ngayon um, compared sa trading style mo before? So, ano yung mga in-implement mong bago ngayon para hindi maulit yung nangyari dati? Sure. Uh, this is not to discredit IPOs ha, pero yung mindset ko this time uh, is uh, with IPOs is talagang ano uh, stay back ako kahit umakyat si uh, the very recent case Mary Mart kahit nung umaakyat siya nung uh, 50% every day for two days or uh, sorry for three days I think mm-hmm. so nung nagsisiling siya for uh, for a few days hindi hindi na masakit sa akin hindi ako naka, hindi ako nakasakay uh, even at one point nang nag-usap kami ng cousin ko na uh, na he, she was asking me na ano if the Mary Mart IPO would be a good ano would be a good deal sabi ko sa kanya uh, hindi ko alam yung uh, uh, siguro if you trust the no siguro if you trust the uh, the person behind it uh, behind the company then uh, pwede pero sa stand ko kasi is uh, wala kasi akong technical basis ko ano yung mga supports and resistances ko kung saan ko ibibase yung trades ko so uh hintayin ko na lang talaga siya then i won't be distracted with what's happening with Mary Mart and hindi na, hindi para hindi hindi ako manghina yung naloob mm-hmm. uh letting letting three uh three ceilings just go behind me parang ganun lang so that's one Another is, uh, ito, nangyari, uh, ito, na, ito nangyari to while I was doing some charts. 
hindi ko pa alam si Instagrams na nakikita ko yung mga posts from different people in Traders Apprentice but hindi ko uh, nakikita ko lang na yung chart has a watermark in Instagrams. Doon ka nakikita pero I, I didn't join yet. Uh, I was yung mindset ko noon is I want to ask people for help. Isa rin sa mga natutunan ko during sa during sa soul searching ko. Um, not to not to hesitate to ask people for help. So, um, gumagawa ko na analysis ko for certain stocks. I was trying to graph. I was trying to. I forgot which ones na gumaw, gumaw ako ng graphs. So, pero ang ano? Uh, and the point was, I posted it online. I asked. I humbly asked for people's opinion about ano about din sa mga sa sa mga analysis ko. Then I asked them kung uh, tama ba yung Tama ba yung mga pinagsasabi ko dito <laughs> sa analysis ko na to? And after ano, uh, after some time, there would people na nagko-comment. Tapos, there was even a time na, okay, I remember, I remember charting Bloomberry and even to appoint si ICT. I saw some patterns doon na ano, if not a falling, if not a falling wedge, a rising wedge. So parang nung time na yon there was one I think it was George Tan. Uh George Tan dun sa ano sa Traders Apprentice uh, na page and, and I think he's also a member ngayon sa in, sa Investagrams. Parang ganda ng status niya, ang dami niyang uh, ang dami niyang followers, ang dami niyang points. So uh when I was looking at the graph dun sa ano sa isang sa I forgot lang ko ano yon. Uh, I was seeing a pattern a um a falling wedge. Tapos, may, may sinabi yata si Sir George na eh, hindi hindi falling wedge yung finiform niya. Hindi falling hindi falling wedge yung finiform niya. It's a rising wedge. Tapos sabi ko, oh, nas, uh, Sir, nasa nyo, ano? nasa yung part na yun? Uh, sabi niya, uh, i-change ko yung, pers- yung perspective ko from daily to weekly charts. So nakita ko yung ano, nakita ko yung nakita ko yung chart na yung sinasabi niya. So, what happened was, meron rin talaga kung series of analysis, chart analysis, nakikita ko yung mga patterns na after a certain time, tumatagos lang siya dun sa mga supports and resistances and it's not following the patterns that I saw. So, dun ko na, ano, dun ko na realize na, okay, there's this such thing pala as yung uh, graphs are being invalidated if they don't follow through with that. No? So, yung parang yung mindset ko na, the books are telling me this but si market pa rin talaga nasusunod so that's one thing na 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 na-learn ko ngayon so uh, na learn ko for the past few uh, for the past few months uh, when i got back into the trading na na definitely si market ang masusunod we can interpret the graphs as however we would want pero at the end of the day, ano talaga yung price action ni ano ni ni stock, yun talaga magpi-prevail. So walang uh, hindi naman necessarily completely incorrect yung ano ko, yung analysis ko. The charts just get invalidated. Parang ganun. Hmm. Hmm. So at least hindi right. na ako nanghinaan ng loob. Oo, tama. Oh, so solid. So ngayon, eto, this is a very interesting question. So now that um the experience mo na um the experience mo na yung lows right um the early career mo the experience mo yung um challenge para bumawi right during the 70 hiatus and then now uh, you're back nag trade ka na ulit may mga improvements ka na na pinapasok ngayon you're learning from a lot of new people so if you could tell uh, yourself let's say you can speak to your younger self yung your yung you mga 10 years ago what would what advice would you give uh, to your younger self in regards to trading probably bibigyan probably bibigyan ko yung self ko nung link no ano nung youtube video sa pinanood ko <laughs> you know, <laughs> 2008 oh. recently o oh, 2008 pa pala na nag-exist yung bakit kay bakit kay hindi ko nakita yun <laughs> i was probably i wasn't uh, i wasn't uh, more of a research person before so uh, siguro ano lang talaga um, more of marami lang talaga akong things na na-learn uh, during that during that consolidation period. Mm-hmm. Not, ju- not just about stocks or relating to stocks. Research, um, uh, research, discipline, uh, parang combine sila lahat eh. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. So, what do you think ngayon? So, di ba, matagal kaya na sa market. Wala ako masyado nakakausap na kasing daming years na, no? Next na nasa market as nawala, tas bumalik. So, what do you think are the common misconceptions sa mga baguhan pa lang na pupasok sa stock market? Trading, in as much as it's easy to buy and sell with the click of a confirm button, or is as easy as setting aside um, tight minimum or tight minimum amount of 25,000 lang ni Paul Financial or kung meron bang uh, brokers that are requiring about 100 or a million. Tapos kung merong, um, if new traders would just put in that money, uh, open, that, open that account and put that money, trading is jo- going to be just as easy as clicking the buy and sell buttons sa, ano, sa, sa respective online accounts nila. Uh, definitely a huge mis- misconception kasi yung uh, para rin siyang sports eh. Uh, you'd uh, uh, say, say in a swimming competition uh, yung actual competition is just a few minutes lang say you are competing against uh, sabi na lang natin kunyari college say you are uh, competing with eight schools uh, kunyari uh, high school high school yung pers- high school yung ano yung yung yung, yung, yung nag compete uh, say that one is competing with eight school with eight other schools that time frame that would determine who the winner will be is just as short as less than 5 minutes in other words yung time na pinaputok yung barrel yung ano yung, yung go signal until that until making a few laps tapos yung uh, doon na makikita kung sino yung nag-first, nag-second, nag-third. Napakiksi lang yung time na yon. Pero what people won't always realize is that whoever that winner is has had to train every day, uh, sometimes even uh, for seven or eight days a week para lang, ano, para lang to have that very small edge a few microseconds para lang maging first siya. So, uh, trading in as much as it's easy to execute, hindi madali yung uh, hindi madali yung question na when. Mm-hmm. Yun, so actually, so, to, to piggyback on yung discussion mo, at first, especially in 2019, nakala ko rin na na baka madali lang yung trading, diba? but actually, or nung when I was starting out pala, but it actually, um, yung mga great traders ngayon sa community and sa professional fund management side, um, they really put in the work. Diba? They put in the work na hindi nakikita ng lahat. Diba? Na baka na-underestimate na mahirap maging um, consistently profitable sa trading. Mm. Agree. Strongly agree. Mm. And another, ano, another misconception, uh, Hindi, hindi siguro misconception ng term ko dito. It's more of, ano, it's more of a uh, parang uh, mispractice. Sabi na kung hindi man malpractice, mispractice. Basta yung uh, not, not getting enough education before going into battle. Uh, nung time, uh, during that time kasi no, ano, nung, uh, nung uh, when I started my first trades, uh, wala pa si Investagrams. Uh, I don't think wala, uh, wala. Definitely wala pa si Investagrams na, di ba? What year? Oh, uh, yeah. 2015. Ano? 2015, 2015 si Investa. Oh. So, five years yung... Uh, I was uh, I was trading earlier for uh, for about five years. So, probably, kung uh, kung nakita ko si Investagrams, or kung kung kunyari, kung... 2015 na 2015 2016 ako pumasok sa ano, sa market tapos nakita ko si Investagrams and siguro kung meron na si kung meron na rin sigurong elite then uh, definitely ano definitely uh, there's a very high chance na ano, na na hindi ako magkakaroon ng ganung classing trades maybe maybe siguro si ano si si AVLI baka 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 dinner ko yon kung hindi nangyari sa akin si Kalata but the thing, the thing is, probably, I would have just uh, gambled 
or I would have just placed a bet on ano, uh, on a very small fraction of my uh, my funds rather than putting in all uh, putting all in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So ito, to end uh, the interview so solid na share mo yung buong journey mo no. Yung buong uh, how you discover the market, diba? your experiences and then yung paggawa mo ng business, mga natutunan mo doon and now you come back, ano na yung mga improvements sa ginawa mo, eh, what would you have t- told your younger self? Ito, this is a really uh, important question I think I have to ask you is, ano yung message mo? Eh, wala to sa guide questions sa sinend ko. So, ano yung message mo? Right? For those na, let's say, yun, um, for the past years or maybe pa- recent times, especially nung COVID, nung crash, um, naka-experience sa malaking loss. Tapos ngayon, medyo nababad trip, nalulungkot, but um, nawawala yung motivation to trade. What would be your, since you've been in their shoes, tapos, even if it took a significant period of time, now you're back, eh. Yun yung nakaka-inspire story mo na. No, even if um, mas- masakit yung experience mo, you came back at your own time, at your own pace, and now you're ready to try to diba, achieve profitability again. What would be your advice to those na Parang nandun ko na saan ka dati. What would be your advice? Paano sila makakabawi? Di ba? Paano sila makaka-recover? Paano sila makakabalik sa market? Okay. Nice one. Uh, ito siguro yung mga ano ko. Eh, ito siguro yung mga import, important points. Uh, first is, don't, um, don't be afraid to tell your... Uh, don't be afraid to... Uh, admit to yourself admit to oneself na if a trade is wrong uh, talaga mali uh, talaga mali lang talaga yung ano mali lang talaga yung trade you can't blame the market because the, the market is always right we, we, we definitely we can't change the market uh, uh just admit do, don't be afraid and uh there's also no point uh not telling yourself that uh, not telling oneself that uh, one is wrong uh, kasi uh, yun yung first step eh yun yung the very first step na uh, kailangan na uh, para makapunta ka dun sa sa tamang chains so first part in realizing uh, in in uh, trying to correct yourself is first is admi- uh, first is the admittance of the fault or uh, admit mo lang na ano, na, na mali lang talaga yung trade. It's not the end of the world but it's just that that trade malit lang naman yan. Yung yung uh, the trade is wrong so uh, so I was wrong. So yun yung yun yung ano yun yung first na uh, the very important. Tapos um, from that point let it go na na nagkamali na move on na uh, wag, wag, uh, no need to dwell on it basta the fact na na-admit na okay na friends na kayo sa yung self uh, shake your shake your left hand with your right hand then uh, move on with ano uh, with uh, trying to recover that ano uh, try, try to recover that loss or kung hindi man loss nasa tuktok na yung GTK for example hindi pa rin ako nagbenta uh, tapos hinintay ko pa siya na bumaba na bumaba so even if it's still an upside tapos medyo nasasamaan pa rin ng loob dun sa that part na ano na sayang profits na sana naging lesson pa so uh, ano lang uh, 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 one could say that uh, one should say that okay sayang uh, mali yung ano ko mali yung uh, mali yung discarte ko then move on na lang tapos learn na lang from that mistake uh, that's one another is uh get yourself educated and i mean hindi lang siya seminars hindi lang siya uh, hindi lang siya summit hindi lang siya uh, uh hindi lang siya yung books na 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 nirerecommend ni uh, nirerecommend ng different traders both sa investa investagram community from yourself from jc from different people na, na, na possibly ma-meet ng any trader uh, at any given time, kulang yun. Uh, get uh, get yourself engaged in community. And that's why ano get engaged yourself in the community and even to some po- uh, even to a point. Eto toto hindi ako nagpo-promote pero eto uh, so far uh, nakita ko yung value. 
I subscribe to uh, Investigators Elite kasi alam ko yung value ng ano, value ng uh, ng information yung both the training the summit and the information na nakikita ko both sa ano both dun sa mga recorded summits yung mga training materials and plus the plus yung interaction ng community napaka invaluable kasi nene eh. uh, uh, then iba rin kasi yung feeling na ay nagsubscribe ako into a uh, into a service uh, kaya parang may mindset ako na okay gagamitin ko gagamitin ko to kasi may ano kasi binayaran ko to eh in as much as uh, one could uh, ex- one could um, do bodybuilding and exercises sa bahay pero bakit nag enroll pa sila sa gym or bakit meron pa mga tao na na tag dito pupunta pa talaga ng oval to pay for a fee na pwede naman siya mag-jogging inside sa ano inside sa subdivision or kahit dun sa kahit sa paikot lang siguro sa UP Diliman na na ano uh, meron talagang mga tao na magbabayad talaga be, uh, because they want to use the treadmill because uh, instead of running, running sa oval or outdoors kasi meron uh, kasi invest uh, in one way or another that person or yung uh, me as a person is already invested in that ano invested in that uh uh in that service so i might i might as well use it dagdag pa siya sa ano dagdag pa siya sa routine ko and uh siguro third third point make it uh make it a habit na pag-aralan yung trades before the day, before the trading day starts it could be before sa ano before sa uh before sa nine before mag before mag be, mag ring ang bell ng 9:30 a.m. so due diligence or it could be as early as 10 p.m. sa gabi uh prior to the next trading day Iyon yung ginagawa ko so far sa ano sa 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 mga trades ko since i started um i actually wanted na no uh, gusto ko nga sana gumawa ng vlog na may my 10 pm due diligence or my 10 pm daily habit parang ganun ba na in as much as hindi ko hindi pa ako master with ano with the uh, with, with the chartings and how i look at the market or ano ba talaga yung nakikita ko sa market i might as well document it in a uh, in a video conversation na lang na ano na na this is what i think of the uh, market happened today ito yung makikita ko sana uh, for for the for the next day or for the next days can i ask for people's ano for people's opinion about what i'm uh, what i'm thinking right now so parang ganun ba hmm. unfortunately wala akong hindi 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 natuloy yung ano hindi natuloy yung vlog but the thing is um uh, at the um ginagawa ko na yung due diligence ko um every day or at least 10 pm or basta sa gabi prior to the trading day kung ma-miss out ko man yun, at least uh, yung prior days, uh, nagka- meron na akong mindset na, okay, uh, I'm, ito yung mga stocks na alam ko pupunta sa support because uh, nagko-consolidate si PSC at this moment. So kung nagko-consolidate siya, most of, uh, most of the blue chip stocks will go down along with it. Parang ganun. Mm. So those are the two, uh, three things that I can think of. Yun, solid. So, of course, AJ, on behalf of the Investagram team, would like to thank you no, for accepting this interview, invites to conversations with traders. I'm sure yung community natin sobrang dami natutunan sa journey mo. Right? And meron ka bang final, final message uh, gusto i-share sa Investagram's community before I let you go? Ano lang siguro? Um, in, uh, siguro sa Investagram's community, uh, definitely I'm not in the, uh, I'm not out of the woods yet. So, uh, kunyari, ma, uh, if mag-post ako na ano ng tag dito ng uh, analysis ko paki paki critic uh, constructive criticisms I uh, I really need a lot of them uh, there could be a lot of kanang a lot of rights or wrongs sa chart but I wouldn't necessarily know unless mer- uh, unless people are giving feedback so 
Mm-hmm. Yun lang siguro ang ano ko. Uh, let's both share what we know. Uh, I'm I'm very happy to share mine and ano. Uh, let's both uh, let's all work uh, and learn together. Yun, looking forward to see your post ano AJ sa platform. So ano yung Instagram's username mo para mo follow ka ng community? Actually used my ano uh, AJ Alipante. So yun lang at AJ Alipante. At AJ Alipante. Hindi ko na um parang hindi na ako gumamit nung handle ko dati na Mac Fanatic para oh. at least uh, start a new Ganun na lang talaga. <laughs> Yun. Alright. Solid. So again, AJ, thank you right for being, for, for generously sharing your journey sa conversations with traders. Uh, we all hope the be- for the best no, sa, pa, sa comeback story mo na mapatuloy all the way to end of 2020, end of 2021, and all, of course to the end of the decade na ito talaga, ito yung parang natuto ka na, right? And now you're really going towards right, consistent profitability. So, AJ, again, thank you for the time. Maraming salamat and good luck and stay safe kayo dyan. Thanks, Paolo. And stay safe friend, uh, sa inyo dyan and also to uh, everyone else na, na, na nakikinig. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.